What's up everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and here's another indie game review, this time of Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. Brothers A Tale of Two Sons is a heart-wrenching adventure puzzle game. It's a game that catches your eyes and your emotions. When I bought this game, it took me by complete surprise and wowed me with so many different things. Let's break it down. Visually, this game was eye candy, and the breathtaking landscapes, scenic ruins, and attention to detail was something that drew me right in. Detail in this game was amazing, from the falling leaves to the textures in the ocean and the sky. I couldn't get my eyes off of it and they knew they did it so well that they even had to add benches so you could just sit and enjoy the scenery. The soundtrack in this game, like many games, have a repetitive chorus or some aspect that you can hear throughout the entire game. And like an MMORPG, the soundtrack is music that fits the environment very well, and has moments where you feel encapsulated in awe from the emotions that it brings out. As a filmmaker, I understand that audio makes up half of the film, and this game did not disappoint. While I enjoyed the visuals and soundtrack almost too much, I couldn't help but beg that the gameplay was sort of lacking. The game was original that it required you to be ambidextrous to control both players, and if you play piano like I do, it may come a bit easier than other things. While you get the hang of controlling the characters quickly, you will occasionally watch a character stray off in opposite directions or mislead your brain to think that one control actually controls the other character. But other than its engagement of the controls for both players, the game is an adventure puzzle game, and what saddens me is how easy it was to solve every puzzle in the game. I guess you can say that the gameplay was not to think of how easy it was to solve the puzzles, but rather how much controls lets you feel like you're in complete control of each character. And that's just it. Controlling each character shows their personalities and how their personalities react with the environment and the people around them. And that's one of the best parts of the game, leading on to the story. The story of the game is centered around these two brothers who lose their mother, one who feels responsible for her death and after not being able to save her from drowning, and a fear of deep water. He and his older brother are left with different takes on life. Later on in the story, their father falls ill and they are sent on a quest to find a cure to raise him to his new health. The story revolves around these two brothers solving problems, facing challenges, and ultimately growing a stronger bond with each other. And without spoiling too much, the story is a goldmine of character, personality, and perseverance. When you aren't being entertained by the way each brother interacts with the environment, or holding your tears from the different scenarios that play out, you really get a sense of what this game is about. This is a refreshing look on the gaming industry, and one game that I haven't played in a very long time or a game in the past. What you put into it is what you get out of it, and depending on your decisions, it can really affect how the game plays out. Although this is a very good game, I feel like it could have gone a little bit better, but overall it was a great game. But that's up for you to decide and what you make out of it. In the end, I dare you to pick up your own copy of this game and decide for yourself. It's available on Steam. Until then, I give this game a 5 out of 5. Well, I hope you enjoyed this indie game review. Please feel free to leave any comments below and suggest any games you think I should review next. If you like this video, please do not forget to like it, and please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to find out anything that is coming up with our channel in the future. And until next time, this is Lightcast Studios, and this has been an indie game review. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.